We're here in Tofino hosting a vital conversation in partnership with the Crockett Biosphere Trust and the District of Tofino to talk about tourism and the impacts, vulnerabilities and opportunities in Tofino. It's, it's always good to check in with the community about how they're feeling, about uh, the status quo. I feel like everyone's optimistic, uh, but also understanding that we are at sort of a threshold where we need to start working together to, coming, to come up with some creative solutions uh, because there are definitely some problems that come with uh, our growing pains. I think it's really important because the biosphere designation really marks the community's wishes to live sustainably and so this conversation is a really future focus. We're talking about how we can achieve that sustainability across economic, social and environmental spectrums. So we're having conversations about uh, health, education, uh, youth in the tourism economy, uh, the impacts of tourism on housing as well as our natural environment. I think I thought a lot of people were going to come with like a bit more of a personalized agenda of what they kind of wanted to see, but it really is a cool amalgamation of like great minds, like everybody's concerned about the town, but they also are celebrating all the things that we're doing super, super well, so that was a really good breath of fresh air for me, because it allows a lot of great open dialogue. Some of the things I shared was just the, there's a few issues with our school and how it's adjusting to having more and more people in the area, and also the stewardship opportunities for youth growing up in a place where it's full of people who don't necessarily know how to respect our specific environment and also have the benefits of being able to find a job because of the high turnover of people who only live here for a short period. What stands out for me is that across every industry and every service that's provided in Tofino, we're encountering the same problems. Uh, we're having problems finding resources for our health system, just as much as we're having problems finding housing for our, our restaurant workers. Uh, there's definitely a lot of streams here that are coinciding uh, that are going to provide uh, opportunities uh, for people to work together to find solutions to. I've looked at everything from a challenge to be an opportunity. What is the opportunity for Clawquit? Uh, we are working at developing Clawquit people by knowing where the gaps exist and creating the opportunity to, to fill that gap. I think the biggest thing I've noticed with all the presentations and what they've brought up is the fact that there's just so many intertwining pieces between everything, you know, where it's like health and housing and education and you know like everything has an in underlying intertwining effect so it's really interesting that way.